You see, I've heard the stories from fast food workers who are working not one, but two or three jobs and helplessly sinking into the poverty, poverty abyss. Over the past year of campaigning and organizing, I have met with individuals who have made a science out of stretching a paltry 7.25 an hour, an act of magic, I call it, while trying to survive in one of the most expensive cities in the world. I have joined them at their walkouts and pickets and seen in their eyes the constant fear of losing their last economic lifelines. But in those eyes, I've also seen hope, enduring hope, the eternal optimism, the light in their eye. And it's that same light that I saw today in Dasani's eyes. Dasani, please join me. Dasani has joined us with her family. May her family please stand. This is the Dasani Coates. You see, you all read about her in the New York Times. And this is my new BFF. <laughs> and so together, in the face of seemingly endless recession and an unsparing economic system, working people in our city don't give up. Their spirits have not been broken. New Yorkers get up each day and fight. And when they're knocked down, they get up again and they fight some more. This is the spirit of our city. This is the tenacity it will take for our government to strike a blow against inequality and injustice and make our city work for working people again. It's why those of oath taking the oath of office today were elected to serve, because with each ending comes a new beginning. Though we recognize the challenges I laid out, we must also capitalize on the unique opportunities only a city as amazing as New York City can offer. We still have one of the most diverse and talented workforces in the world. New industries continue to arrive and thrive in New York, and our city remains the unquestioned hub of creativity, commerce, and human advancement in our region, and maybe the world. These challenges and opportunities can only be met effectively if we work together. Let this be our lasting resolution on this new day. I congratulate Mayor Bill de Blasio and Controller Scott Stringer as we come together to join to celebrate this historic day and launch a journey that will move our entire city forward. All of us share a progressive vision for this city's future. I pledge to work cooperatively with all of my colleagues and build real consensus. Indeed, moving New York forward will take hard work and a joint determination. Of course, if working people aren't getting their fair share, if our government isn't securing the reforms New Yorkers were promised, you better believe Dasani and I will stand up that all of us will stand up and call out anyone and anything that stands in the way of our progress. Elections are never the culmination of creating change, but simply a first step. New Yorkers should judge their government by whether we make improvements in the education system our children rely upon, whether we improve healthcare access for our patients, whether we help create jobs that pay more than the minimum wage, whether we make our city one that is safer even as we respect the civil rights of all New Yorkers, and whether we focus on building on, on more sports arenas or affordable housing. Above all, our government must maintain an unflinching focus on the spirit of these benchmarks. So today we celebrate and get to work to fulfill the promises we have made to New Yorkers, motivated by the challenges before us and inspired by the greatness of our cause. I thank you for your trust, and I am more determined than ever to roll up my sleeves and seize the opportunities presented by the dawn of a new day. One city together. God bless you and God bless our great city.